collapsed country. I mean, why do you think everybody wants to get out of Mexico and get up here? But then it's like as soon as you get here, this is Mexico. Liberation theology funded by the Ford Foundation. And I won some art awards when I was in high school and in community college. Yeah, you know, they put them in state shows and things. And I sold some paintings early on. I would have been a successful artist. Boy, I'd be a lot more relaxing. And they said, we want to take you to the University of Texas for a special event this week. You'll be out of school three days this week. And they took me in there. Senior in high school here in Austin. And it was all a UT project talking about how bad America was and how evil America was and how great the plan of San Diego was and all this. And I knew enough about it. I was like, what is this? And I was like, this is like some kind of indoctrination. And they were like, whoa, who is this guy? How does he know this? And they were all freaked out by it. It was a big deal. Because the other young people did not have any idea that they were promoting the plan to kill all Anglo men 16 and above. And then we went out to a rally a few years ago. I have video of this. It was the, a bunch of the illegals, but also their handlers here, who it turns out in a lot of cases get caught beating them and keeping them as slaves. The truth is, it's just like with the black community, you've got a rich black contingent that Chappelle and others have talked about that manage and control all the other blacks. You're always hearing about the immigration leaders in Austin caught beating people with baseball bats in basements and basically using them as slave labor. And they're coyotes, folks. They're running this giant mass of poor, desperate people from Mexico through their system, feeding on them and acting like they care about them all day. It's totally evil. And you'll never hear out of these leftist groups, hey, don't take the Gardasil shot. Hey, don't abort your baby. No, 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 no. Get up here to America, because again, American citizens are born in Mexico. If you're Hispanic here, you're supposed to abort your baby. So they got black liberation theology, liberation theology. This is what Obama teaches. It's social Christianity. And that's what they taught in Mexico, so that we couldn't be friends, and so we couldn't work together, and it's a shame. So that's all coming up with the guys as soon as they're able to connect at about 40 after. I want to hear from you, though, on the big story. Kurt Nemo did an article about this. ISIS and the plan to balkanize the Middle East. CIA's Benghazi weapons used in, by ISIS to conquest of Iraq. And Kurt Nemo links to the big think tank statements admitting that Saudi Arabia is funding this through NATO and the proxy armies. And so is the Belfast Times. But by the way, this is all admitted. Saudi Arabia, Sunni Caliphate, NATO runs secret terror army in Iraq and Syria. Another Kurt Nemo, Alex Jones article. And folks, this is the model, total chaos. You had the Shiites and the Sunnis living in peace now. First, Saddam's put in by the CIA to launch a war against Iran. He fails against that after eight years. They tell him, go ahead and invade Kuwait. He does, they set him up, they go and they take him over. They weaken Iraq with inspectors, destroy all their weapons to defend themselves, not endorsing Saddam's, giving the facts, for over a decade. Over a million Iraqis die in sanctions. Then another million die from 2003 and the new invasion up until just last year. 1.3 million lands at Medical Journal. Then they're totally weak on their knees, a coalition government. Then they use the bases on the border with Iraq and Syria with Al-Qaeda to then reinvade and... You know, you heard about the Iraqi government fighting al-Qaeda in Tikrit, in Fallujah, and begging the U.S. for help two months ago? Help never came. Saudi Arabia poured in two weeks ago and is now about to enter Baghdad, has taken the suburbs. The military is collapsing. They're going to get the $10 million command base and use that as a Saudi Arabian command base to take over all of Iraq with the CIA and globalists aiding them and starting a new operation against Iran. And again, I'm not on Saudi Arabia's side, I'm not on Iran's side, I'm on other sides. The globalists are accentuating a civil war. And it's totally immoral while using the threat of Al-Qaeda to take our liberties here in America. And now Lindsey Graham says, give up all your rights. Al-Qaeda's got a base in Iraq. 
when he knows full well that's what Benghazi was about, was getting those weapons and other systems to him. This is it, folks. Saudi Arabia is taking over with globalist backing. Giving up. So that meant tyrants got overthrown a lot. Other parts of the world I've studied it in depth and intended to settle into long-term tyrannies. And uh, that's an overgeneralization because societies are all basically identical. Long-term looking at them, humans act the same. But our world, our country is going into a mega tyranny. I've studied how history works. I know you have as well. And it's repeating itself right now. Notice things just get more frantic, more insane, more out of control by the hour. And the statistics show it. And, and now the globalists are running proxy wars all over the world using destabilization as ways to take over. Think about Methodist churches, Baptist churches, Catholic churches, you name it, are on television saying legalize all immigrants, no borders now. Mexico is a completely collapsed, failed state. Can you imagine if the 100 plus million people that are already down there, not just the 30 million that have come up here plus, just came across and got on welfare, we'd bankrupt today. And that's the plan. Can you imagine if anybody from India or Eastern Europe or anywhere could just come here and then get freebies? What would happen? Well, see, the globalists don't intend for that to happen. They're just going to get enough here to politically balkanize the country and have folks that'll vote to radically destroy the Bill of Rights and Constitution. And we're almost there. And these are political Democratic Party voters being organized by these church groups on record. They're on NPR, they're everywhere. They're in an article, video of them, loading up the illegals, trafficking them into the country. This is a revolution. And then meanwhile, all over the world, in Africa and in the Middle East, you name it, they are funding Muslim groups to kill Christians in mass. They are lining up Christians. It's going to be by the hundreds of thousands when it's all said and done, maybe millions. Iraq is one of the biggest minority Christian groups left in the Middle East, and they are exterminating them in mass right now. On record. Al-Qaeda funded by our government. And our media goes, okay, it's a civil war. Sure, we fund both sides. They're not funding both sides. They couldn't just kick Saddam out and then put Al-Qaeda in, that would have been too obvious. They waited a while, and now they're putting them in. I want to hear from you on this, 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. Talk to JJ, Mark, and others. But this ISIS fly, Al-Qaeda, Saudi Arabia, and Wahhabist flags. That's what they are. You can look up the flag of Al-Qaeda. It's what they fly. And there's a disinformation campaign on Infowars.com and YouTube going, this isn't Al-Qaeda. These people fired Al-Qaeda. Iran's with Al-Qaeda. And I saw Fox News in the last break. I was in there, Fox News, in the break room with an analyst saying Iran's really with Al-Qaeda. I'm not romanticizing Iran. They've got real terrorists. They do stuff. But that's Hezbollah, and Al-Qaeda has nothing to do with Saudi with, with, with uh, Iran. And everything to do with Saudi Arabia, that's on record. Saudi Arabia and Iran are arch enemies. Saudi Arabia has been getting nuclear weapons now last year, threatening to attack Iran. They hate each other. Mecca is in Saudi Arabia, Islam started in Saudi Arabia, and the Sunnis are the big inclusive group. Everybody can be a religious leader if you are uh, a Sunni. You have to trace your lineage to Muhammad if you're a Shiite. It's more inclusive, more elitist, so it didn't take over Islam, even though it's probably older than the Sunnis. Because obviously Muhammad's family said, oh no, you gotta be one of us, it was a new form of royalty. I'm out here attacking the Shiites. It's just that I'm just telling you the, the, the different players here. Saudi Arabia wants to take over. Saudi Arabia is Western backed. Saudi Arabia is where 15 to the 19 hijackers are from. Why are we attacking Iraq?
Why are they not bombing like the highway of death, the Al Qaeda forces that are pouring into Iraq? We're on the.